You really were born yesterday, weren't you? No. No? I was, uh... born today. Well, isn't this convenient? Well, Commander, uh, to what do we owe this unexpected honor? Sit down. I was attacked by a gang of your plasmoid terrorists in the Forbidden Zone. Y you couldn't be mistaken. My zone cruiser was found right outside of town. Which are they? I want them. I don't know. It, it couldn't be any of our people. People? I'm not lying. I'm encoded to tell the truth. You're welcome to a memory audit. I couldn't lie to you if I wanted to. Well, how do you know? Have you ever tried? No. That in itself is a lie. Aren't we glad we can feel pain, Governor? Pain warns us when we're in danger. It can even save our lives. <laughs> that was a friendly warning. What are we eating? I have no idea. The can that this came in said good food. It's not bad. <laughs> Why don't you try some? I'm not feeling all that well, actually. I've had a fever and I'm sort of nauseous ever since last night. I'll be okay. Probably just a 24-hour flu or something. Are you sure? Maybe you should lie down for a while. I'll be fine. Trace, you've been kind of quiet tonight. What's going on? I really love the people here. I want to warn you not to let your guards down. No matter how friendly these people are. Remember what happened out there on the highway. Our lives could be at stake. Grandma's probably trying to call us. I told Sean I was going to be back in time for our six-month anniversary. Don't you understand? We're never going to get out of this place. We're never going to see our home again, our friends, nothing. Oh, come here, honey. Hey, come on. I don't want to see my big girl cry. Come on. Everything's going to be all right. I told you it was, didn't I? Do I ever lie to you? By the way, one of those soldiers is by the school today. Do you think they're looking for us? Until we find out for sure, we better assume that they are. Your next door neighbor? How do you do, Fred? I'm Hal Sterling. Won't you come in? Well, thank you, Hal, but uh, I don't know you and I don't trust you. And I'm not about to come in your house. <laughs> Only kidding. But I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No, I'd love to come in, but I can't right now. The wife sent me over to invite you and your family over to dinner on Thursday night. Sort of a welcome to our world? What do you say, along about 7.30, right after the news? All right, we'd love to. See you then. Citizen Syrah, Gad Ben, manufactured 702771. Citizen Falzoner, Rackros, manufactured 70244. Citizen Croyd, Kelvin, DX. Citizen Atzerk, Blonde, manufactured 702415. Uh, Commander Kroll, sir. Yes, I can see that. An emergency? What? I was attacked yesterday in the Forbidden Zone outside the Sarlax province. I was alone at the time. They were armed. There were five of them. Sarlax? There were replicants then? Yes, sir. Well, find them and terminate them. What's the problem? Manpower. These are extremely dangerous terrorists. I'll need reinforcements. And I'll have to act very quickly. The Sarlax radiation will become debilitating after a fairly short duration of exposure. <laughs> I'm moderately susceptible. Some people are, some aren't. Shut up, Crowell. Are you drunk? 
I'm not interested in your medical history. And why are you communicating through a non-security channel? Uh, they stole my access crystal. I need to borrow another temporarily. What? They were armed. I stole your access crystal. Then why are you still alive? They overpowered me. I was unconscious. My record of service is impeccable. From this moment on, you will have one purpose in life, one standing order to recover that crystal, no matter what the cost. Your reinforcements will be dispatched immediately. What is this thing anyway? There's a couple of them in the province, but nobody really knows what they are. There's another one over there on the side of that mountain. Is it just like this, the same thing? I don't know, I guess so. I've never been there. It's in the Forbidden Zone. You've never been there? I'm sure you've read the rule book, or haven't you gotten around to it? No, I... guess I kind of got distracted. A Forbidden Zone surrounds each of the provinces, and nobody except the Zone Troopers are permitted to enter it, without permission from the capital of Imar. That's in another province, the capital. It's a province in itself. Well, what's it like? I mean, is it just like this? Of course not. Every province is completely different. But all of them are subject to Imar. I've read a lot about it. It's really fabulous. That eye seems like it's watching us. wonder what these things are for. It is a mysterious thing. There's even a legend about it. They say a long, long time ago, people from other worlds would travel here, and they'd follow these monuments to Imar. Then what? They'd return to their own worlds as kings and sorcerers. Well, how would they get home, these people from other worlds? By following these monuments to Imar, but from there I don't know. It's just a silly superstition anyway. What would you say if I told you that I was from another world? I'd say love conquers all. Have an older proto? He's out with a friend from school. He thinks he's in love. Oh, isn't that nice? Well, let's eat. Daddy, aren't you gonna ask him what that glow in the sky at night is? Glow? Oh, you mean the Sarx radiation? It's beautiful, isn't it? Haven't you been out of the mine? Uh, no, I really haven't had the time yet. Mm -hmm. Did you say Sarlex radiation? I've been feeling rather ill lately. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe you should have your unit checked. Starlight's radiation doesn't affect us, only humans. That's the good thing about it. It keeps the zone troopers from coming around here so much. Oh, did you see what happened? It was on the news. A group of terrorists attacked a zone commander in the forbidden zone outside this province. Oh, but here's the best part. It wasn't just any zone commander. It was Nuveen Kroll. Uh, Nuveen Kroll, at these... Sounds like a pretty mean guy. I don't like to speak ill of anyone, but Kroll is one of the worst. Oh, they made off with his access key, a class one crystal. A crystal like that, it, uh, it sounds pretty important. A person would have practically unlimited access with a class one crystal. Power sources, locked doors, information banks, travel, anything. They must be going nuts. They're gonna come down on somebody hard. Memory audit, Mr. Roach. You folks have never been through a memory audit. Well, the zone troopers won't be able to be around here that long. <laughs> the humans just can't take that old Sarlex radiation. Well, I suppose if they could, they wouldn't have any use for us androids. <laughs> We'd never been created in the first place. <laughs> what was it that old Eva Mapple used to say? Um, mm. You know that famous quote of his? Uh, I'm embarrassed to say I'm not too up in our history right now. Oh, this is driving me crazy. Honey, would you get the book? Oh, right. I bet you pros know. I know, but I'm not telling you. <laughs> what a cute and quirky proto. <laughs> oh, here it is. Eben Apple said this over 600 years ago, and it's as true today as it was then. Quote, what you need, you have to make. The man was a genius. Why don't we lend him the book?
The whole history of our race is right in there, Hal. From the first nameless, faceless robot to the full evolution of a plasmoid creation, every bit as fine as its human.